AEW's all out went down in history in so many ways. Um, this is the biggest AEW pay-per-view of all time. And this marks a new beginning. And I'm trying to tell you guys, last night had so many WTF moments until it gave you that WCW uh, NWO vibe. Like, this was real wrestling. Now, Sunday's All I was the most watched AEW pay-per-view ever. Ever. Yeah. So, I mean, this has so much going on. Starting out, it was in Chicago, home of CM Punk, who we know, who actually um, debuted back in the ring. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone. I'm quite sure this is all on YouTube and social media. But uh, what was <laughs> the most shocking thing besides seeing Ruby Riot debut was Adam Cole and Mr. Yes, Yes, Daniel Bryant uh, debuted and... I mean, you have so many WWE stars in AEW. I'm I'm looking forward for any minute now uh, to see someone like Braun Strowman or Bray Wyatt because they have so much money in AEW. Tony Khan is a billionaire, and this man is buying top-notch talent. If you don't want to be in WWE, it's no problem. There's a home <laughs> that's called AEW that basically has... Uh, I'll say like all of the great talent that WWE doesn't want. And yeah, this was great. Look it up. Uh, I'm not going to give you guys any uh, spoiled matches, but I want you to check it out, man. Just, just to let you know, AEW has come a long way. You have legends mixed with great young talent. And now you have CM Punk, Daniel Bryant, Ruby Riot, Adam Cole, Along with the Big Show, Sting, Chris Jericho, <laughs> John Moxley, and a slew of others, Mark Henry, and a slew of others that's probably on their way. Like this video, leave your comments, and subscribe.